Hey, hey, good day, everybody. This is Chuck with CyberSmart Web Marketing Solutions. And this is going to be a series, I don't know how many videos it's going to be, on how to install the W3 Total Cash plugin. I did a video last week or a few days ago um, on some top WordPress plugins, and I talked briefly about how I have switched from WordPress uh, Super Cash to W3 Total Cash plugin. Um, it, it works so much better, and this is going to be a series showing. Uh, how to properly install that plugin. We're going to be going into our cPanel and we're going to have to make some slight changes to a couple of files to get it installed correctly. Um, I'm going to assume that you don't have any caching plugin installed uh, and if you do you need to uninstall it before we go through this process because they'll conflict with each other. If you are using uh, WordPress uh, Super Cache, it is a little bugger to get out of there, let me tell you. Uh, I'm not going to do a video right now on how to uninstall that. If you do a Google search on there, uh, you, you can easily find the code and the instructions on how to get that plugin out. I've had prob problems with that, and I've heard of other developers having problems with uh, WordPress Super Cache as well. And uh, like I said, I I'm switching to W3 Super Cache plugin. Now, first question a lot of people might might ask is what is a caching plugin what does it do and why is it important well one of the things that the search engines Google and Bing and Yahoo how they rank sites one of the factors that they can consider is how fast your website loads and a caching plugin in very simple terms kinda of takes a photograph of your website and um, doesn't everything on a website is located in a database and without a caching plugin every time someone comes to your page it has to go to the database and pull that information out okay so I'm, I'll do a little demonstration this is uh, my CyberSmart blog and I have W3 total cache installed and I got it tweaked pretty good now this is a pretty heavy site um, this is a, a huge background image and I have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, images so there's a lot of weight to this to this website and I'm gonna compare it to this website that uh, I'm, I'm in the process of building and I don't have any caching plugin installed on this but one of the things to keep in mind is this is pretty lightweight there's no background image there's no big bulky header so let me just show you here I'm gonna go to the home page see how fast that turned boom boom turns on a dime like I said I've got this tweaked pretty good I'll go back to the home page now that is really fast uh, considering the amount of data that is that is on this website like I said it's 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 loaded with with images now let's check out this site my plugin website and now this is very lightweight in comparison now watch see how long that took now I'm using a uh, builder uh, iThemes builder which is really kind of a quick theme just out of the box okay but you're gonna see that w when we install this plugin how much faster this website this website will probably give you whiplash it'll turn so quick because it's it is really light see how long that takes though It's got to call all that data and deliver it. So, and I'm probably the only person on this website. So just think if there was 10 or 50 or 100 or 1,000 people on this website at one time and the database is having to go and draw all that data for each individual. And that's, that's what caching is. And I'll show you one more time how fast CyberSmart is. It's really quick. So, I will have the link on whichever blog I post this video. I'll put the link underneath this uh, YouTube video. Again, this is part one. And um, go ahead and look for W3 Total Cash. I'll, I'll show you how to do that in the next video. And uh, get it installed, but don't activate it because we need to do, do something before we do that. Okay, this is part one of WordPress caching plugins. Peace.